have with me now Mr. Ahmed Al Hoshi, CEO, OCI and VN Fertig Globe. Welcome back to Abu Dhabi, Mr. Ahmed. Um, you're an expert in hydrogen. What can you tell us now? What is hydrogen with all what's happening around us, the geopolitical change, and everybody's obviously changing their plans and strategies? Where is hydrogen standing now? I think uh, even when I was here last year, hydrogen was a very important topic and it continues to be a very important one today. Obviously, the lack of investment is a big challenge here. Any fix for that in the coming um, time, years, months? Uh, the, key, the key element will be around reducing uncertainty so people can make decisions. So uh, we're not as upstream as an oil and gas producer, for example, but we consume gas uh, in our in our plants to produce the product. So for us, I think it's going to be all the stakeholders. It'll be the private sector being able to make a decision. What they need is less less uncertainty. So when you have programs that come about like the Inflation Reduction Act in the United States, which is helping to spur the supply of more hydrogen sooner rather than later, that's one way that gets there. Uh, clarity around the pricing of CO2, how it'll be treated, regulations, carbon border adjustment mechanism in Europe, you know, those are all important elements. So it's the regulatory side, it's the legal side, it's uh, being able to, to be able to make decisions and actually take action rather than just talk about projects. And then that allow people to make those, those, those investments and, and hopefully get us in a position where hydrogen is more abundant and lower carbon in the future. Ahmed, everybody seems to be talking about projects, investments, hydrogen and all the other um, energy, uh, you know, solutions. But somehow there's a missing piece in this puzzle. Where do you think is the missing piece? Um, so, I mean, I was just on a panel now, we were talking about 4% of projects announced are getting FID. So 96% of projects that are announced have not reached final investment decisions. So the missing, there's something missing. There's a lot of announcements, there's a lot of MOUs. Ultimately, you know, like I said earlier, you want to take action. And to do that, you need to have visibility. And you know what I was saying in, in the panel earlier, I think the missing piece is being able to focus on the low hanging fruit. What is the most cost efficient way to get lower carbon hydrogen? So for us, the missing piece is that ability to take that FID and that ability to make that decision. And one of the, I mean, to kind of take it a bit further, one of the key areas there is the demand. So and I'd say it's two missing pieces, it's the supply and the demand. So the supply side, you know, subsidies like the U.S. put in place with tax credits for the Inflation Reduction Act will add to the supply side. But on the demand side, we need to get people to invest, to commit, to accept buying hydrogen that's lower carbon, which may come at a cost or may have to invest, involve an investment. And that's going to need to be done with the support of, I think, the public sector as well. Carrots and sticks, subsidies or pricing of CO2 so that people can make that demand decision and consume hydrogen.